Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we are going to talk about a tool that is so exclusively digital, it almost hurts. And that's the reason I've been delaying talking about the Puppet Warp, because a lot of the things I talk about in Control Paint are, well, they're pretty traditional. It's pretty much just drawing or painting, you're just using a digital tool. Well, this technique, no, this is totally digital. There's no way to do this on paper, so just don't even try it. But the idea is to have a layer that you want to manipulate, and the warp tool just won't cut it. Because you've seen that I like using the warp tool a lot, and that allows me to manipulate the character, and push and pull and squeeze. Pretty useful. Well, what if I just wanted to move this character's arm? And I actually wanted to sort of maintain his structure. I wanted to keep his joints rigid, but I just want to reposition his arm a little bit. Well, that's where the puppet warp tool comes into play. It's important to know that he is on his own layer and there is no background on his layer. So I go to edit, puppet warp, and now you see he's been triangulated. And this is the mesh that it generates automatically. And I'm just gonna go around and put in some anchor points. And this is just gonna kind of keep his key positions in place and you can put as many or as few as you like. It's important though that I'm putting these where his actual joints would be. Well now I'm gonna hold down control and you'll see the icon changes to a little pin and I can just move them. Can you believe that? That is ridiculous. This is so different from drawing on paper, I can't even believe it. This steps into 3D modeling territory right here. So if you wanted to change your pose a little bit, this would be the tool to use. Now, obviously it's not perfect. You can see that his face is wiggling a little bit as I move these, but depending on how you set up these joints and how your layer is to begin with, you can get some really nice results with this. This is a technique that I cannot think of an alternative way. There's no other way to do this, but the puppet warp, man, Pretty awesome. So when you're done, you just hit enter and it confirms it. And there you have your newly repositioned character. Now sure, this is a bit lossy and it's gonna lose some of the original sharpness. So probably you're gonna have to do a little bit of painting over at the end anyway. But if you wanna just modify your position a little bit, this is such a quick way to do it. So I really avoid using techniques like this all the time because it is so exclusively digital. If I got too used to this sort of thing, working in a sketchbook would really be a challenge. But if you're going to be working digitally, it's nice to know that techniques like this exist. Because when this problem arises and you've got a deadline, this might just save the day. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Are there any other interesting hidden little features in Photoshop that are wildly powerful like the Puppet Warp? If so, let's talk about it in the comments. Thanks for coming to Control Paint, guys.